Mountain rescue volunteers are urging climbers to take precautions as call-outs continue to rise. Teams in Scotland responded to 40 fatalities last year, and ITV News has learned that this year's figure already exceeds that. It comes after three hill walkers were killed in Glencoe earlier this month. Let's join our Scotland reporter, Louise Scott, who's there uh, tonight. Um, uh, Louise, a, a very stark reminder of the dangers. It certainly is. It's easy to be taken in by these breathtaking views, but conditions on these mountains can change so suddenly that even a minor slip or trip can become an emergency situation. Today's warnings are not to deter people from enjoying the outdoors. Instead, it's a reminder to prepare appropriately before you begin your adventure. The magnificent scenery surrounding the highest mountains in the UK makes Scotland an explorer's playground. But with an increased interest in going outdoors, mountain rescue teams are busier than ever. The hill that we're going to is not particularly high. However, it does have a lot of uh, crags and rocky bits on it. We have a significant number of people needing rescued from that particular hill every year. Rescue teams across the country are made up of volunteers who carry out training exercises in their spare time. Alrighty, when they go up the ridge line, uh, we'll put the dog up first and we'll see if we can find the casualty. They are replicating a common call out, which is for slips or trips. Search and rescue dog Evie is given her working jacket before heading off into the hills. So she'll be going back and forward, side to side, trying to catch uh, the scent of the person that we're looking for. Jumping up, she's barking. She, she's, now, she's now indicated that she's found something and Ross is now move, moving into where it is. Evie is rewarded for her work while the rest of the team deals with the casualty. The first priority is warming the person up before they are fully assessed. Okay. Well, the rest of the team are actually on their way, so there should be a stretcher coming up fairly shortly. Okay. Okay. Call-outs to Scottish mountain rescue teams have increased by 50% over the last five years, and fatalities this year are already exceeding last year's total. Every fatality on the hills is, is obviously an absolute tragedy, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's something that does happen. It can happen to the best of us. You know, the, the better prepared people are, you know, you've got a map and a compass, you've got a wee, a wee torch in your bag as well, you know, you've looked at the weather, all that kind of stuff is going to hopefully help you to not become a statistic. Even the prepared walkers out on the Scottish hills today say they've been caught off guard in the summer months. <laughs> like we've been up lots of hills the past few days and all we've seen is uh, fog a mist so, so you never know what the weather's yeah. like it's a lot colder than we kind of thought it would be so hats and lots of layers is that quite surprising that even in the middle of summer you need those oh, absolutely yeah i can't believe that this is summer this is the busiest time for the teams who still urge those in trouble to call for help there's no easy hills there's just some that are a bit easier than others and i think they're all deserve respect really and take it seriously for most, a day out on the hills ends only with tired legs. But when accidents happen, it's these volunteers who risk their own lives to save others. Louise Scott, ITV News.